guys welcome back to my channel um it's your girl kemi um if you're new here welcome welcome to our little family if you are a existing subscriber hi girl i'm back oh boy girl oh boy we do not discriminate here we welcome all genders non-binary binary whatever it is come come you're welcome um this video is my updated winter skincare routine <clears throat> i feel like i'm leaving at least three months between each of these videos for my skincare routines because generally I change my skincare routine every two to three months. I say three months and when I say change I mean I have like new products, new additions, I take away things depending on what my skin's ecosystem is saying because you know my skin in summer is different from my skin in winter. My skin gets bored of things, it starts tolerating things, it starts not tolerating certain things, I'll get onto that. Um, so I switch it up but as much as I love doing skincare videos, number one, these are just suggestions and if they work for you, I'm super happy. If they don't, use something else I've suggested or someone else has suggested that makes sense. Um, but now I've got that the way, um, this is a skincare routine video so I will be doing my routine on camera and if I'm not doing it on camera here, I've got some pre-recorded content that I'll put on the screen here or here. My main priority in winter is to have glowing, clear skin all year round, that's my priority. But winter's a bit different because the harsh wind, the cold can strip your skin of hydration, it can also make your skin very irritable and um, I feel like my skin just like more prone to hormonal flare-ups in winter I don't know if it's because there's less hydration or I don't know what it is it's, I ramble so much I'm getting parched I've got my green tea here so yeah without further ado this is my winter routine for clear blemish-free controlling blemish-prone hypoallergenic sensitive irritable skin and guys this is me just having washed my face with my cleanser my cleanser which i'm going to show you guys is a Beauty cleanser i haven't moisturized i haven't toned i haven't done anything i washed my face like two hours ago and i said i'm not going to moisturize or tone or anything until i do this video see dedication first oil cleansing so we know this this is my percy my Ken Beauty oil cleanser it's a soothing cleansing oil it has lavender, grapeseed, safflower, sunflower, jojoba, sweet almond um, oil, mandarin oil, um, I said lavender right, marigold and rose petals. So it's a very pretty oil, but not only is it pretty, it is hard working. So it will actually lift the excess oils from your pores and from the surface of your skin. You can use it as, it's really good makeup remover as well. So if I have makeup, this is what I'm using to take off before I use my face wash. I just mush all my face together with one pump of this and it works really hard, it takes off all the makeup. And if I don't have makeup like a day like this, I do it because I want my skin to be unblocked, my pores to be unblocked and I also want my skin to be radiant. What it does is oil breaks down oil. So oiling your skin is broken down by this oil and it just leaves your skin looking very less textured, your pores looking smaller and your skin looking bright. I love oil cleansing. I don't do it every day anymore. I'd say I only do it evenings as well, I don't do it in the morning um, because it's just too much rigorous movement like and I have heavy hands so I don't want to irritate my skin so I do it in the evening especially those evenings where I'm not going to I'm not gonna lie to you sometimes I get back from the office late and I'm tired and I don't want to do seven steps so if I was just to strip it down to like three steps oil cleanse, face wash, tone, sleep I'm out, just this is gone, see you tomorrow so, so essentially I'd do this for like a minute some people do it for five minutes I find my skin's very sensitive and it doesn't like too much rigorous movement so I do it for a minute and it does, I don't want to do it again. But this is a, this is a new skin cleanser. This, I don't always want to come here when I launch something and be like, guys, you need to get this, 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 that. I'd rather the people who are naturally gravitating towards it and following my brand and happen to see it, buy it because they have been moved by it, not because of me. Like I know I am my brand and I can't separate, but I can sometimes. And I don't want to come here like a salesman because my products work. They work very well. The reviews on my site speak for themselves. But yeah, I want to be fair and balanced. You know, I mean, you don't have to use my cleanser. That's why I show other cleansers as well. If you don't want to use my stuff, I have many other alternatives from other brands that you may want to try out first. So this is a ultimate super skin clearing cleanser with cucumber, aloe, tea tree, avocado, watermelon, papaya, cranberry, strawberry, and lemon extracts. This is a normal face wash. It's gentle but hardworking. Turmeric will brighten your skin as it has mine. And um, it has a natural oil such as avocado, um, watermelon, grape seed apricot kernel which is why my skin is so moisturized so it doesn't leave my skin oily because it's not an oil cleanser however it does nourish my skin like this is without anything i've just oil cleansed and used this two hours ago and look at my skin you would have thought that i've moisturized or i've hydrated it's super hydrating it has hyaluronic acid in it as well aloe vera as well which brightens dark marks turmeric which gives you a glow tea tree extract which fights blemishes and antimicrobial and it's antibacterial as well so it fights all your spots 
um, and oil blemishes. Um, cranberry is a natural exfoliant, as is papaya, papaya enzymes and papaya extract as well. Um, it's really good for breaking down dead skin cells. Cranberry has salicylic acid in it as well. So yeah, this is the Super Skin Cleanser. Sorry, I keep looking here because I'm honest as here, but I'm in love with this cleanser. Um, literally just massage it in my skin for 60 seconds, you know, the 60 second rule. I put onto damp skin and literally it's skin healing, skin clearing, also gentle enough to use every day. It has been my favorite release this year, can't lie. This and the Ultra Glow Oil, just because they literally changed my skin, saved my skin, and they changed so many of you guys' skin as well. So yeah, that is the Super Skin Cleanser. That's the cleanser I've been using. Um, it is like it's not too foaming, so it's not stripping, but it's definitely leaves your skin very feeling very 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 clean, very clean, and it does what it says it does. So, so if you're looking for another cleanser that is hydrating um, and soft, it doesn't have that many extracts inside, but this is the Cerave Hydrating Cleanser um, for normal to dry skin. I like this because it's safe and it's soft. Um, I don't know if I would call this hydrating. I don't know, but I do think it is a good cleanser. This and the gentle foaming cleanser. So there's a turquoise green one as well, but I gave mine to my partner. So I don't have it to show you right now. But um, yeah, CeraVe hydrating cleanser or their gentle foaming cleanser. I do love my La Roche-Posay gel cleanser, very safe option, but I've graduated now. That's a very safe option, but it has nothing inside of it. It's just like a basic cleanser. So if you don't want anything that has any extracts, you just want simple skin cleaning. You can use the Vani cream that I showed in the last video the um, La Roche-Posay or this CeraVe hydrating cleanser and um, this has water, glycerin, cetyl alcohol this is why I don't like it, alcohol is too far up it's the third ingredient I'm going to pick up my routine from here because I've shown you the cleansing steps from an alternative video so next what I will do after I've moisturised essentially is use my Ken Beauty hydrating toner as you can see I'm running very very low um, I use this every day, twice a day so essentially this is a toner that hydrates, brightens and smooths and it has Cucumber, aloe, wuzu, hyaluronic acid, sweet orange, lavender, sage extract. Um, I love this so much. Um, it's skin brightening, hence the cucumber and aloe and wuzu. Wuzu is a Chinese um, ingredient and Chinese extract which plumpens and brightens skin, makes it very radiant. Hyaluronic acid, we already know, that is a natural humectant, so it draws moisture to your skin. Um, sweet orange, lavender and sage. Sweet orange is brightening, also has vitamin C. Lavender is microbial, antimicrobial, and fights blemishes and skin healing. And sage does the same too. Sage is very skin softening. This is the one I love. So yeah, I just used this all over my skin as you can see. I don't know why I was going in like, like that. You don't need to use the toner like that. You can just use it on your face one time. I got carried away and I was talking. Um, as you can see, my skin is not too dirty. And while it's still wet, I go with my super drug vitamin C energizing facial spritz, which is infused with vitamin C, revives dull, tight skin, and boosts skin natural radiance. It has kakadu plum extract and goji berry extract, which are very potent in vitamin C. And I don't use my hydrating face mask in winter anymore, just because I feel like this is stronger. This gives me more of a brighter, ooh, like, and it makes my skin feel more awake. And this is the only. I don't really look for vitamin C in my skincare just because I've had a bad experience with it a few years ago and it really ruined my skin. My skin was like bumpy, like you know when it gets like irritated and there's millions of tiny bumps that happened to me but that's before I knew that vitamin C also has percentage levels in terms of like like 2%, 5%, 7% so I must have got a strong potent percent and it just ruined my skin so now I don't actively look for vitamin C some people do and it works for them me I just let me just stay with this and gently ease myself in so I'll use this after my toner oh it smells nice it's got it's really heavily perfumed though and um, yeah this just brightens my skin I really like it it has water this goji berry kakadu plum vitamin C um, so I use this after my toner because I want, my toner has hyaluronic acid in it, so I want this to like sink into my skin after. Um, the toner presents a really good base for stuff like this to go into the skin properly. I would use my Hydroglow Serum. This is the Ken Beauty Hyaluronic Acid Serum, it's called Hydroglow. And it has hyaluronic acid, cranberry, raspberry and grapefruit. Hyaluronic acid, as we know, is a humectant, it helps your skin get hydrated. And cranberry extract is really good for exfoliating and brightening the skin. And then raspberry is really good for skin health and hydration. Grapefruit is good to get rid of any bacteria, microbes. And so I'll just apply this pea-sized amount of hyaluronic acid to my skin. And I'll just push it in. So on 
one. I'll go with my snow mitching. You know how I feel about this. This is extremely hydrating, reduces inflammation, makes your skin plump and supple. And I feel like this with my Chem Beauty Hyaluronic, called the Hyaluronic Acid is a dream. The reason I prefer the Chem Beauty Hyaluronic Acid to other hyaluronic acids is because it has other things other than hyaluronic acid. I'm tired of buying skincare that has only one thing in it because that means there's more steps. If I buy something that just has like hyaluronic acid in it, that means I have to use like three products after as when I can just do it all in one step, so this. So I can use this on its own essentially. Um, and I just mix it with my snow mitching because I love this, I really like this. Um, I've used this on my body, but I'm gonna save that for my body care and personal hygiene video. Um, but yeah, because you know your girl's skin is soft. But yeah, so I love this because it has hyaluronic acid that has a smaller molecular weight than usual drugstore hyaluronic acids, which means the chances of it penetrating the skin and actually drawing moisture are higher. It's a better quality of hyaluronic acid, if I may say, which is why it's priced the way it is. Um, a little goes a long way. Read the reviews. It's no longer in this packaging because so many people are dropping and spilling the hyaluronic acid. But um, now we have more hygienic um, pump bottle, 30 ml pump. And um, yeah, it's plastic, doesn't break. It's better for the environment because it's recycled. <laughs> because I'm extra and I just applied Hyaluronic acid and another hydrator. I'll spray my face again. You could just use rose water, water. You could even use the toner if you have a mist top bottle, if you have a spray mist for it. So I'm going to spray once again. And I'm just trying to create a sandwich layer. Um, you know, there's this uh, courtroom beauty routine essentially where you spray and tone after every step to make sure your skin is like really taking in the moisture especially that i've used something that has hyaluronic acid what i don't want to do is apply hyaluronic, hyaluronic acid to dry or not too damp skin because what happens is the hyaluronic acid will as opposed to drawing moisture from the top of your skin into your skin it will draw moisture out from the inner epidermal layers of your skin onto the surface surface which then results in drier skin over a period of time you don't want to apply hyaluronic acid and not kind of cushion it with something water based or hydrating because it will pull water out from your skin. It's a very drawing um, compound essentially. Moisturise to seal everything in. So I already told you about my Bioderma, sorry I just need a tea. Okay, then I will Bioderma Hydro Bio Gel Cream. This is a moisturising, a light moisturiser for normal to combination sensitive skin. I love this um, until I find a better moisture. I just love it because it's light. But I don't like the size because it runs out very quickly. Aside from the size, I like it. It's 40 ml. They don't do bigger sizes. And I essentially just put a pea-sized amount, rub it in, and press it into my skin. The reason I'm pressing, oh, the reason I'm pressing as opposed to rubbing is because I want the the skincare to really be layered and really get into my pores. If this was my skincare routine, if I was going out after the skincare routine, I would use my new sunscreen, which is the Black Girl sunscreen. It is a moisturising sunscreen body lotion, um, sunscreen lotion for face and body. SPF 30, um, infused with jojoba and avocado, water resistant for 80 minutes, ultra sheer, no white residue, fragrance free. I have a love hate relationship with this, but I'm gonna, I'm, I'm trying it out. I'm, sometimes my skin likes it, sometimes it doesn't. I did realise that my skin got a tiny, tiny bit blemishy after using it. My face doesn't like about it, or maybe it's the cocoa seed butter. I don't know, but my skin doesn't like something. Um, but I'm gonna push through because I've, I really wanted to try this, and I'm just so happy that it says Black Girl Sunscreen. I'm happy for the brand, I'm proud, it's an American brand, I'm proud of them. So I want to support, if anything, worst case, if it doesn't work for my face, my skin is just like, no, stop doing this to me, then I'll use it on my body. Um, but yeah, I really want to love this, but I'm still trying it out. I always like to give products a fair chance. If I haven't like got a severe adverse reaction, then I just try and push through and see if my skin kind of gets used to it. Um, but yeah, it has really good coverage though, very, very moisturizing. So I use this during the day. Um, so this would be like almost my daytime routine. Um, daytime routine, I don't use um, the stone mooching or the hyaluronic acid every single on a day. So I do this, let's say Monday, Thursday and Sunday in the morning, this whole routine that I've just shown you. And then every other, I would do that, that what I've just shown you is my standard routine, standard, like that's just what I'm doing at the moment, um, minus the sunscreen. And then at night, I would seal it, seal my moisturizer with an occlusive, which is the Chem Beauty Ultra Glow Oil. It's either the Chem Beauty Ultra Glow Oil or my CeraVe Healing Ointment. You guys know I love that. The tub is in my pants room right now. And I set a picture here or something. 
Um, so either one of these are occlusives. Obviously the healing ointment is like Vaseline. It's essentially just petroleum jelly, but it's so good for keeping your skin soft, locking all your products and treatments in. Um, as you sleep, you know, things kind of transfer into your pillow. Thing you get, you suffer from epidermal water loss if things are not sealed in with an oil or an occlusive. So it is paramount that after all the effort you've put in, especially at night time, seal it in with oil. I don't use this ultra face glow during the day. I know some of my customers do. I just don't because my skin holds moisture quite well and oil will just be overboard. So the Kenby Ultra Glow Oil, I've spoken about it before, but the reason I love it is because it brightens dark marks. Um, I keep showing you guys this, but I think it's this side. This is where my explosion happened. Remember I showed you that dark mark in my first skincare video. It is brightened up significantly, and that is because of the constant use of Alpha Arbitin and this Ultra Glow Oil. This Ultra Glow Oil, when I used it every day for at least 25 days, it brightened it completely. Like You can barely see it, the dark mark, you can barely see it. So now I'm moving on to the sides of my face where there's a bit of like hyperpigmentation here you can't really tell but i can tell and then obviously i have some dark marks here and here which i'm brightening which are brighter than the first video because of this oil in my opinion and um, it has rosehip oil argan oil avocado oil meadow foam oil broccoli seed oil skin bright active molecules sunflower seed oil and grapefruit seed oil with champaka oil as well and this is essentially just an oil serum that brightens your skin and an occlusive so you can use it every night I do suggest that you use it every night if you have it, um, just to get the full results, um, especially if your skin is very tolerant to oils. It is gentle, it is, um, it's not greasy in the sense where it's not a heavy oil, but it definitely does penetrate and does its job. I really like it. Um, some people use it in a serum, serum stage, but I feel like once you put an oil on, anything you put on after that is not going to penetrate your skin. It's not going to penetrate through the oil, so it's always good for stuff like this to be the last step or if you're gonna use something like this at serum stage, that's the last stage of your skin. So I've got two more routines to show you, um, and that is for my exfoliating days and for my targeted days. I only exfoliate once a week um, in winter. I don't wanna do it twice just because I just don't need to do it twice in winter. Once a week is fine for me, unless I'm having like hormonal breakouts then I might do it twice a week if I feel like it but some people can actually up to three times a week I think maximum three times and it should be in the evening and please do remember to use your sunscreen the day after and every single day or you're just undoing all your hard work the sun the UV rays from the sun will give you an extra tan on the dark marks that you have and undo all your hard work if you don't protect your skin properly so find a good um, SPF I've tried the black girl sunscreen as well um, if you're interested I think I got it for 20 pounds from rich skin Delivery was so good, customer service was great, um, it came really quickly. This is an American brand, I think they're the only stockists in the UK that stopped, stopped this, so rich skin, I'll leave the link below. But yeah, sunscreen guys, very, very important. Don't waste your money on all this skincare if you don't have a good sunscreen. So on exfoliating days, I've reunited with my love for winter. Um, I didn't like it in the summer, it was just too much for my skin, don't know why. But for winter, it's doing its thing. I like this because it's um, it has salicylic acid, I and mean, it does smooth the skin. So I'd use this in, in, in replacement of the Chem Beauty Cleanser on an exfoliating evening, on an exfoliating day. So I use this in the evening, start with this face wash. I'm just gonna show you guys for video purposes because I did say it's a skincare routine. So I'm using a pea size amount, that's all you need. Don't You don't wanna over cleanse your skin, you don't wanna strip your skin too much. You don't want your skin to be tight and hard and squeaky clean because then it's going to overproduce oils to compensate. So I apply it to my skin. And I like this because it has salicylic acid and yeah, it just targets all the, all the pores. Salicylic acid essentially breaks down dirt, grime in your pores with sebum together. It breaks that down. So it goes inside your skin, beneath your skin's layer and breaks down all the bonds that form between um, bad things in your skin. I don't know if I've worded that properly. Um, so yeah, it exfoliates the top and underneath your skin as well. So all those under spots I get when I get hormonal acne, this really does control them. After cleansing with a face wash, with my Chem Beauty Exfoliating Face Scrub, which has um, cranberry, melon, watermelon. It has AHAs in it, which are chemical um, exfoliants. And, I, and it also has pumice stone, really, really fine, small amount of pumice stone for that extra level of physical exfoliation, if that's your style. Um, I love it. Like sometimes your skin just needs a bit of elbow, a bit of muscle, and I feel like this does it on a chemical and physical level. So yeah, I follow 
this straight after the CeraVe cleanser. Um, and yeah, it really does give me that shine that I need. I love it. So I'm going for probably 30 seconds. I really concentrate on the sides of my nose and my forehead just because those are where my stubborn like build-ups are um, from time to time and then under my, my lip I get some build-up there as well with filaments and closed clogged pores so that's where I'd mainly concentrate and under my jaw um, I don't do too much because it is an exfoliant cleanser and you don't want to put too much pressure like that needs to be the same pressure as your fingers don't do too much it's not your body you don't need to do too much like your skin is very sensitive on your face and a little goes a long way and i like this because it is instantly brightening and literally the glow tomorrow unraveled some people have been like commenting on their reviews that they use it every day i wouldn't recommend you use this every day you should not exfoliate every day i feel like it's probably just the initial excitement because this is an instant workout and you will see instant results but your skin gets used to it after a while so um, you shouldn't be doing it every day because aha is every day go in with my CosRx original clear pads love them so much so this is a salicylic pad as well um i think i like about salicylic salicylic acid is lipophilic so it stays on the skin even after you cleanse or whatever you do which means it's still working on your skin um even if you wash off your salicylic acid cerave cleanser um it also breaks down comedones so whatever those big things that block pores like blackheads and white heads it breaks the bonds between them it reduces texture and brighten skin as well um it is one of my favorite acids i do not mess with glycolic acid at all guys like i don't think it's for black skin in my opinion everyone i've seen that uses it hates it um personally in my experience glycolic acid made my spots worse it made painful bumps come up um yeah it doesn't do anything for me i feel like glycolic acid is too strong like period so salicylic acid is really good for me so i just use these pads because I don't know, I just really like the pads, like the glow tomorrow is just going to be crazy and it's there's 60 pads in one um, one tub and it stays moist and it has willow bark water, salicylic acid, glycerine, um, orange peel oil as well, and there's 70 pads actually, I just love this on exfoliating well, days. Um, this is the inky list lactic acid, I think this is 5% or 3%, you apply it, um, two drops on cleansed skin. Um, I really like this, I really like this, but this lactic acid is the best as I always keep telling you guys, like I absolutely love it. Um, so I applied this either to a cotton pad or two drops on my face and just pat it in. Um, lactic acid is very good, it's AHA so it doesn't go under the skin like salicylic acid does, but it definitely does hydrate the skin and remove texture and brighten surface level dark marks and all blackheads and whiteheads gone. So this is more of a surface kind of worker, but it works really hard and I love it. Moisturizer and an occlusive moisturizer to moisturize my skin i don't want to over dry it my skin's been through a lot i've got chemicals on it even though they are not harsh they are still exfoliating chemicals and they still do their thing you want to take easy and kind of comfort and cushion your skin after so definitely moisturize and seal that moisturizer in with an occlusive i or i use the Kenby ultra glow oil you can use whatever oil you want and um, that works for your skin and locks in moisture or a ointment or vaseline um so the um cerave healing ointment uh, so once I have moisturized and sealed my moisturizer with occlusive to trap that hydration and to just nourish my skin Your girl's going to bed and then the next day I would just use face wash Toner and moisturizer again because I've exfoliated the night before I don't want to do a further seven steps in the morning. It's just not necessary um, So yeah, so that's my exfoliating routine as it stands changes you have to be really like um you have to be really receptive to your skin and notice all the different changes. Oilers Choice BHA liquid, like I put so many people on, so many people love it, my skin absolutely lacked it. My skin doesn't like it anymore. I get painful bumps on my forehead and on my chin when I use it now. I don't know if it's too strong for me now, so it's like, or maybe, I don't know, but it's, maybe it's bringing out some stuff that doesn't need to be brought out that it's like, it's not that deep. But I think it works too hard and I think it's too harsh for my skin now. I get painful bumps, like bumps like this. You know, I keep talking about this spot because it's really upsetting me. It's denting, it's just denting my confidence right now because it's really hurting me. But I get things like three times the size of this on my forehead, like four of them after using the BHA liquid. So I had to leave it. I mean, I still use it on my intimate area after I have a wax. After I get wax, I'll use the BHA liquid because and I can't use it on my face, so I use it on my armpits and my wax area after wax, like three days after, and it does the job, it gets rid of ingrowns and other stuff. But I'll talk about that in my body care and personal care video. But um yeah. 
targeted days are days like when I know I have a blemish or my skin's not looking very good or I just want to work on my dark marks. Um, I do this at least maybe an evening a week at least, maybe two. Um, you could, these are safe enough to be used every day, these products. So if I was having a breakout or my skin was going through a crisis, I would do this treat mark and some stubborn dark marks that I have on my neckline and then this hyperpigmentation here and then some dark marks on my forehead that won't go and then um, I get, I've get i got hyperpigmentation here at the sides of my mouth God knows how that got there Looks like my Ken Beauty Pink Clay Face Mask um, The only pink clay face mask, the only clay face mask I use This is for brightening skin, absolutely amazing This is the mini version So this is 60ml and the standard 120 ml so this is part of the mini essential set so i use this essentially to brighten smoothen and detexturize my skin um it is really good at brightening dark marks because it has this is always going to be in my routine all year round um this pink k face mask um did a lot for my skin and did a lot for my brand but essentially my skin first and foremost changed it so that's targeted because i know that my blemishes are going to get smaller like if you have a spot put this mask on it. even if you just do spot treatment leave the mask on it as you would like in old school days when we used to put toothpaste on our face do it with the mask put on a spot um, leave it for like an hour an hour and a half wash it off the next day that spot is going to be nothing gone smaller like everything will be pulled to the top it will just be non-existent so that's the clay mask love it after washing my face i would use the pink clay mask wash that off rinse it pat it dry then i would use my alpha arbutin in places like so i use that on my neck and my forehead and my cheeks it's um, skin brightening, I use it for the inky lips. This is the best other Arlton I've used personally. I know other brands do it, but this is what I like. Um, it's nearly done, but um, yeah, I love this other Arlton and it really does brighten dark marks. I think it's better for stubborn dark marks. So the ones that I've had for like over a year, so my neck ones, this is really good for it. Um, I love a good skin brightening product, guys. As you can tell, skin brightening, lightening dark marks is like, it's like my drug, it's like crack. I just love it. And then um, I've been using niacinamide and azelaic acid serum from face theory this is really good for blemishes um, especially hormonal breakouts niacinamide is really good for minimizing blemishes um, breaking down blemishes and spot and acne prone skin as is azelaic acid acid really good for smooth skin and keeping acne and blemishes under control getting rid of them my little sister introduced me to this and i absolutely love it um, face theory is a very good brand to start off with if you're looking for a gentle way to get into actives I think my first chemical exfoliant was from the face theory actually um, like three, three and a half, four years ago um, face theory is a very good brand, very extensive they do their research, very reliable, really good introduction and they have some really good like staple pieces there if I were to recommend anything from face theory it would definitely be their cream exfoliating AHA BHA cleanser um, which I think is in a, the reason I stopped buying it was because it was in a tub they upgraded it to a tub as opposed to a pump and my skin doesn't like all types of niacinamide I've tried the ordinary one um didn't like it my skin did not like it it made my skin worse if anything it made my skin bumpy and more spotty um, i feel like there's levels to this and that's why I like when people talk about like skincare you know they don't want to go into expensive skincare and stuff like that i get it i really do because remember i told you my most expensive item in my skincare kit is my dragon's blood serum use it so i feel like that is the issue with sometimes expensive products however it doesn't mean you need to go and get the cheapest products because remember it is your face and it is your skin all these cheap scrubs from the drugstore and all that they may work for a period of time but they may damage your skin in the long run because a lot of them have synthetic oils mineral oils um, <clears throat> ingredients that haven't been fully tested or sometimes cheaper versions of things like i know from my work with my brand and the skin lab that is my supplier that there are cheaper versions of things so for, ex for instance licorice root extract there are levels to licorice root extract there's levels to all these extracts and ingredients so if you're buying a cheap product from drugstore just be aware that the kind of the, the percentage of the active that you're looking for may be very low and the majority of the products will probably be water and other synthetic oils and fillers and stuff like that and also think about the quality of the product that you're getting there's different levels to AHAs there's different qualities to fruit so you may find that in the more premium or tiny tiny bit more expensive things so maybe like a 20 quid serum from a reputable trustworthy brand may have better ingredients than the five pound serum in your local drugstore but this one has done wonders for my closed comedones and um, that i get when i have hormonal acne and on my forehead as well um very good for breaking down all those blemishes and closed com comedones and all that good stuff so this is a really good blend also like the fact that it's not just niacinamide niacinamide whereas this is niacinamide and as a like acid serum going i like it when there's more than one active product in something because it skips steps so now i don't have to buy two serums i've got 
both ingredients in one hard working serum. So that's what I would use on a targeted day as well if I was having a breakout. Um, my skin's improved drastically since my first skincare video that you guys love. And yeah, I'm just gonna keep giving you guys content when I change things. If I go silent on the skincare, it means that I'm using, I'm doing the same thing I was doing before. I don't need to talk about that again because there's only so much I can say about skincare. Um, I hope you liked the demo today. The lashes are not individuals, these are from my brand Ken Beauty. It is the self paid lash with the amaretto lash stack. So I put self paid first and amaretto on top, and I use this to look like I have Russian mates. But yeah, that is the video. I hope you guys have a lovely rest of the day. Be blessed. I enjoy my video, guys. Bye.